Praise God. Hallelujah. Tayo po ay dumako sa ating communion. Please take your bread and uh, juice uh, that is prepared eh, at your place. Okay? Hindi po natin ang tinapay. Tanda po natin palagi. Ang tinapay ay sumisimbolo sa katawan na ating power ng Jesus. At ang juice naman ay sumisimbolo sa uh, new covenant established by the blood in the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay? So, tayo po ay tumanggap. Sapagkat ito ang turo na tinanggap ko mula sa Panginoon at ibinigay ko naman sa inyo ng gabing siya'y ipagkanulo ang Panginoon Jesus ay dumampot ng tinapay, nagpasalamat, pinagpira-pira sa iyon, at sinabi. Ito ang aking katawan na inihahandog para sa inyo. Gawin niyo ito bilang pag-alaala sa akin. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we receive your body representing by this bread and we do this Lord God in remembrance of you that your works on the cross your the stripes that you took for our place by your stripes we are here Lord we receive your well-being upon our lives in Jesus name Amen so let's make a little bit Kunipin natin ang juice. Patapos maghapunan, dumampot din siya ng kopa at sinabi, ang kopa ng ito ang bagong tipan na pinagpipibay ng aking dugo. Kung iinibin niyo ito, gawin niyo bilang pag-alaala sa akin. Sapagkat tuwing kakain kayo ng tinapay na ito at iinom sa kopa ng ito, ipinapahayag niyo ang kamatayan ng Panginoon hanggang sa kanyang muling pagparito. Lord Jesus, We proclaim your death and until you come once again. By doing this, Lord God, we proclaim that. And with this cup established in your blood is the new covenant for us. We thank you, Jesus. Glory to you in Jesus' name. Amen. So, let's pray for that. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Ngayon po, itadako tayo sa ating um, word na inihanda, especially for you, our JBCI family. So, so last week, I have discussed about um, hope. No? So, uh, um, I have the heart na ituloy ito para mas lalo tayong umasa at Uh, sa ating pananampalataya sa pananampalataya meron tayong lahat Amen okay, So tayo po ay mako Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for the conviction of the things not seen So we all have faith no? and, and that is the assurance dun sa ating uh, bagay na ating inaasahan the conviction of things hope for Romans 5 verse 5 Now hope does not disappoint because the love of God lagi natin tatandaan na uh, itong pag-asa na meron tayo from our uh, uh, faith is the assurance of things hope for na meron tayo no ay it does not disappoint us because this is um Um, tawag dito, uh, this is sure and steadfast okay? because why? because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy, Sp Holy Spirit which was given to us this hope is not a desire it's not a desire for future outcome that is uncertain o kawalan ng katiyakan gaya ang sinasabi ko na kara no? tumaasa ka pero um, you are not sure of it but this kind of hope from the Lord Jesus Christ is sure and steadfast Pwede ka kasing umasa pero hindi ka naman sigurado. So dito, what we are what the Bible is telling us is the hope that does not disappoint because it is sure and steadfast. Future outcome that is absolutely sure. Okay? So, like this, no? Hebrews 6.19 This hope we have, meron tayo as an anchor of the soul. So, last Sunday, I have shared about the... Uh, What 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 anchor is this no na ating 
um, pag-asa. Uh, we have as an anchor of the soul. What is an anchor? Anchor is that which give protection against aimless drifting in the sea. So, so ginagamit ito usually sa mga barko na nasa dagat o nasa laot na ibinababa nila para uh, meron silang protection sa um, hindi mga hindi inaasahan mga aimless um, drift, aim, aimless drifting ng sea. No? Hindi, hindi mo um, inaasahan na bigla kang dahil sa malakas na alon eh tatangayin ka. So you are always protected. You are always um, uh, remain stand standing in which you are um, anchored okay a hope both sure and steadfast and one which enter within the bed isa sa gamit ito ay upang hindi gumalaw ang bangka or barko upang tapos magugulat ka na lang at tinangay ka na lang malakas na alo hindi mo na lang kung nasa ka so tayo we know where we are always because of this kind of hope the hope uh, uh, both sure and steadfast okay so Sabi naman sa Proverbs 13 verse 12, no, hope deferred makes the heart sick. Okay? Ano yung hope deferred? Yung pag-asang actually yung deferred days, parang uh, yung easily to easily drag away. Madaling mawala o madaling matanggal. Yung pag-asa mo na yun, pa pawala-wala na makes your heart sick. Okay? May pag-asa ko ngayon pero bukas hindi. But, but this kind of hope we have is no, is both sure and steadfast, okay? Sabi nga dyan, but desire fulfilled, okay? Yung desire or the, yung uh, hope natin being fulfilled is a tree of life. So, ano ba yung ano, na-fulfilled? Na the Lord Jesus has been fulfilled everything in us and He is our tree of life. So, yung ating pag-asa, do natin ilaga, na, uh, which is in Christ Jesus because the love of God is with us. Do natin, um, may pananampala tayo, pananampalataya tayo, no ba? In Christ Jesus, doon, doon lang tayo, doon tayo, doon tayo umasa, doon tayo kumawak, doon natin i-anchor ang ating buhay, ang ating, ang ating kaluluwa, ang ating spirito, doon natin i-anchor. So, ayun, sana po ay naiintindihan nyo yung, when it comes to hope in Christ Jesus, Christ is our hope, the hope of glory. Okay? So, uh, in, in uh, sa buhay natin dito sa mundong to no uh, uh, altandaan natin uh, we we are victorious in Christ Jesus so, okay ano man ang mangyari dito sa mundo natin if god willing na buhay pa tayo if god willing na wala tayo, we never lose in Christ okay lagi tayong panalo and this kind of hope does not disappoint us okay patuloy tayong umasa sa pagkilos ng Panginoon sa ating mga buhay. Alright? Okay, so I want to share right now is uh, in the book of Lamentations, no? Uh, Lamentations chapter 3 verse 1 to say, Hope from lament. I mean, lament is, um, sa Tagalog, itong Lamentation is uh, panaghoy. Okay? Tama ba? Oo, oh, panaghoy. Okay? So, basahin natin mula sa uh, chapter 3 verse 17. Okay? Sabi dyan is sa English, no, my soul has been rejected from peace. I have forgotten happiness. So, yun, kung babasahin mo itong uh, lamentation from chapter 1 to chapter 2 at saka ito sa mga unang verses ng chapter 3 is um, iba ang, ano, ito yung mga pinagdaanan na Israel uh, sa kamay ng mga kalaban okay so they are in great uh, distress and they have experienced trouble okay so basahin muna natin no? verse sa Tagalog naglaho sa akin ang bakas ng kalusugan okay so yun wala daw maging kapayapaan at kaligayahan man then sa verse 18 so I say my strength has perished and so has my hope from the Lord. So, nawala din daw sa Tagalog. No? Kaya't sinasabi ko, nawala na ang aking lakas at ang aking pag-asa kay Yahweh. Okay? Uh, bakit niya sinasabi to, no na uh, uh, nawala na daw yung kanyang lakas at ang kanyang pag-asa kay Yahweh? So, dumaan siya sa tagpo. No? Ito, uh, bigyan ko kayo ng mga ikling, ano. So, lamentation describe the results of Babylon's destruction of Jerusalem in 587 BC. So yung bansa nila no uh, totally no na, na, nasira because of the enemies 
na ginamit ng Panginoon, ng Diyos, para iparana sa kanila ang mga bagay na ito. At dito, sabi sa lamentation, sa panaghoy, pinininiwalaan ng mga scholars na si Jeremiah ang nagsabit nito kasi si the crying prophet nga daw siya. No? So, ito, ito yung isa sa, ano, kung babasa yung lamentations 1 and 2, makikita nyo doon. At dito, uh, talagang ano, na they are um, experienced a trouble. So, diba? Bakit yung sinasabi ito? If we will be reading the previous chapter verses, we will see what trouble they had been through. So, hindi ko na po i-ano uh, yun. Uh, what must to make this um, short for you is they experience uh, not just a pandemic but a total uh, destruction of their land. Okay? Where the young men have been captive to Babylon. Okay? And talaga, totally the destruction ng kanilang buong bansa. Okay? So, yun po. But what important is this? So, say, kaya niya, nasabi niya, no? kaya sinasabi ko na wala na ang aking lakas. Uh, na wala na ang aking lakas at ang aking pag-asa kay Yahweh. So, they always cry out to the Lord. Then, the Lord, mayon, uh, His willingness, so everything is uh, prepared for the Lord. No? But, dito, wala. Okay. Kaya, dito nasabi nitong sumulat ng lamentation, no? Kaya't sinasabi ko na wala na aking lakas at ang aking pag-asa kay Yahweh. Pero hindi po lang natatapos ang kwento. Hindi po dyan. Hindi po dyan natatapos na sinabi niya na kaya't sinasabi ko na wala na aking lakas at ang aking pag-asa kay Yahweh. Hindi po dyan. Tingnan natin ang mga susunod na verses. It's a good thing to hope for help from God. Okay? Dito naman sa mga susunod na verse, no? Uh, ito yung expect natin, no? It's a good thing to hope for help from God. Okay? Of all the trouble, of all the bad things, no? Ang pinakamaganda pa rin na gawin natin is to hope for help from our God. Okay? So, ang itong eksena ng to no um, um before pa no before our Jesus Christ pa okay pero we we can have a lesson here no na makikita natin so let's see sa verse 19 simpait ng abdo ang alalahanin sa aking paghihirap at kabiguan dito mo itong nararanasan nilang hirap no at kabiguan parang simpait na hindi ko na kung gaano kapait yung abdo no? actually nakatikim na tayong abdo ng isda no uh, mapait hindi masarap okay, simpait na nga yung explain ng verse 20 lagi ko itong ina- naaala-ala naaala-ala so lagi niya daw ito ngayon, yung kayo ba ganoon din no? minsan mga tao ganyan naisip natin uh, hindi ko nga lang kung bakit minsan kung ano pa yung mga mapapait na alala siya pa paboritong alalahanin no? okay, lagi ko itong naaala-ala at ako'y lamis na napipighati okay so, kayo, no, you are in Christ, no, uh, you know what we should always think about. Okay? Alam natin ang dapat natin alalahanin. Alalahanin natin ang mga pangako. Kagaya yung sinabi ko na karano, sabi na ni Arsis, well, the promises of God is the anchor for the believers. Okay? So, ito po, ito po yung ating dapat laging natin alalahanin. Pero dito, binabanggit mo, Lamentations 3.20, Okay, ito way back before Christ. So, lagi ko itong naaalala at ako'y labis na napipighati. So, yan ang sinasabi niya dyan. Pero, ito, ito ang turning back, no? Sa uh, verse 21. Gayun may nanunumbalik ang aking, kapag, ang aking pag-asa. So, so church, ba, sinabi niya before na wala na yung kanyang pag-asa kay Yahweh. Pero, uh, at saka, sa tuwing maaalala niya itong mga ganito, itong mga kahirapan, yung mga simpait ng abdo, ang kanyang paghihirap. Verse 21, gayon may nanunumbalik ang aking pag-asa kapag naaalala ko. Kung babalikan natin yung verses before, no, is ang sinasabi niya nung una, uh, sinasabi niya, no, simpait ng abdo ang alalahanin sa aking paghihirap at kabiguan. Lagi daw niya yung naaalala. So, yan yung pumapasok sa kanyang isip. So, lagi naaalala yung kanya mararanasan. Tayo, ngayon, no, pandemic, no? Uh, 
siguro lagi natin iniisip, ilan na ba? Ilan na ba yung positive? Ilan na ba yung suspect? Ilan na ba yung probable? Uh, uh, ilan na ba yung mga nagre-reklamo? Ano? Il- ilan na ba yung ano? Yung, ano? Pero have we ever thought ba na ito? Ano kaya itong naaalala niya? Na bumabalik yung kanyang pag-asa. Okay? Sa, sa English, sabi John. Sabi doon, no? verse 21, last week. This I recall to my mind. Therefore, I have hope. Ano yung nare-recall niya? Ano yung naaalala niya? At bumabalik at nagkakaroon siya muli ng pag-asa. Amen. Ano nga kaya yun? Ano ba yung dapat natin alalahanin? Okay? Tingnan natin. The Lord's loving kindness never ceases. Ito yung kahit niyang naaalala pa inaalala. Kapag sa, sa tuwing maaalala niya palagi yung um, pighati, kahirapan na kanyang dinadana. So, na, ayun. Pero, bumabalik ang kanyang pag-asa. Sa tuwing maaalala niya, yung the Lord's loving kindness indeed never cease. Okay? Tingnan na siya natin before na. Uh, never cease for his compassions never fail the lord's loving kindness indeed never cease for his compassions never fail ano pa verse 23 they are new every morning laging meron no? laging merong bagong Uh, kagandahang loob ng Diyos laging loving kindness His mercy, His compassions they are new every morning so ano man ang dumating na dito no, na pinag, napagdaanan niya na yung trouble no, na lagi niya naalala hanggang, hanggang ngayon so, actually pag binasa mo yung uh, verse 1 to 16 no, uh, durug na siya ano na siya kung baga uh, ano yun, uh, wala na pag-asa sabi nga yan, di ba na wala na yung kanyang pag-asa pero Nanumba, nanunumbalik ang kanyang pag-asa sa tuwing maaalala niya na the Lord's loving kindness never cease and His compassion, His mercy never fails. Okay? They are new every morning. Okay? Great is your faithfulness. You know, we really need to always remember, no? Lahanin natin palagi sa panahon ng Uh, ano man ang ating pagdaanan dito sa mundong to Ano man ang dumating Marami na mga pandemics na pinagdaanan ang mundong to no? uh, But still no? The faithfulness of the Lord Is there, there was Great it is His loving kindness diba? Buhay pa, umabot pa nga tayo Before, nagkaroon ng pandemic, cholera, pandemic uh, Etc, marami pa Okay, so Let's hope in the Lord He is sovereign at yung pag-asa natin, no? Ang handaan natin, no? Uh, hope does, does not disappoint. Okay? So, Lamentations 3.23, They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Okay? Tayo, our hope, no? Nagpatuloy siya sa kanyang pag-asa sa Panginoon sa kabila ng mga dilanas or dinaranas. Therefore, sabi niya, I have hope. In Him, verse 24, no? The Lord is my portion, says my soul, therefore I have hope in Him. Kanina, sinasabi niya na wala na yung kanyang pag-asa at sa tuwing maaalala niya yung pighati at kahirapan, ganyan-ganyan. Then, pero bumabalik ang kanyang pag-asa sa tuwing naman maaalala niya yung the Lord's loving kindness. Indeed, never cease. Do we believe that the Lord, the love of the Lord, actually, di ba, the love of the Lord is upon us. Those who are in Christ and poured out by the Holy Spirit. Okay? So dito, verse 24, The Lord is my portion, therefore I have hope in Him. Kasi, bakit? Bakit bumalik yung hope niya? Kasi He remembers that the Lord's loving kindness never ceases. Amen. Pumatay tayo, mabuhay man, neither death nor life will be able to separate us from the love of God. Which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Okay? How about us? This is in the Old Testament. The lamentation is the in the Old Testament. How much more tayo who are in Christ, who are called by His grace, okay? We have what hope. 
And this hope that does not this uh, point, Romans 5, 5, balikan natin. Now, hope, this kind of hope established in us that does not disappoint because, bakit? Because the love of God, kanina sinasabi yan, the loving kindness never ceases. So, we, dito sa atin, we are in Christ, no? Uh, who is a strong foundation, a solid rock given to us because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit who was given to us. Tandaan natin, because the love of God as ating pag-ibig ng Diyos. Yan ang dapat natin tandaan. Um, don't just fix our eyes no, of things here na nakikita natin. Uh, actually, yung panday, oh, hindi mo siya nakikita. Pero yung mga pinagdadaan na natin dito sa mundo, don't just fix your life is uh, hindi hindi dito natatapos. It's, it's just uh, the start. No? Ang ating uh, buhay, eternal life is in Christ Jesus, in God sa piling ng Panginoon. Okay? The love of God Jesus has been poured out on us. So, okay, may uh, ano man ang pagdaanan, ano man mga pandemic, ano man ang mga ano, church, remember, the love of God has been poured out on you. Feel that. Have peace. And this peace, this, this peace, the, the kind of peace the Lord Jesus gave us is from Him. Okay? From Him. He has overcome the grave. He has overcome death. Okay? Everything he has overcome to give you this kind of life. To give you this faith and hope that does not disappoint because the love of God. Okay? Sabi nga niya kanina, sabi nga kanina ba, this cup is the new covenant established by my blood, not by the blood of bulls and God, but by the blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay? Remember, no? Uh, Hebrews 6.19 This hope we have as an anchor of the soul A hope both sure and steadfast Okay? And one which enters within the veil Alright? Lagi natin tandaan The lamentations written before Christ But Christ is in the, in the, in the Old Testament is Christ is in his shadow in the Old Testament. No? But here we are, it is being revealed to us the mystery. No? Tayo, no? lagi natin tatandaan. Uh, kung siya, he remembers the God's loving kindness, tayo we remember who we are in Christ. No? And natin dito, this is what we are, who we are, what we are in Christ. Ephesians 2 verse 4 to 5. But God, who is rich in mercy or compassion, okay, and then yung kanina, because of his great love, his loving kindness. Well, so dito, but God who is rich in mercy, because of his great love with which he loved us, okay, even when we were dead in trespasses, made us alive together. So tayo, ang buhay natin, nabubuhay tayo ngayon, together with Christ. And it is by grace you have been saved. Okay, tandaan natin. No one may boast. No, hindi ka naligtas because of your good works, because of your good deed. You you are saved because of God's grace. His, dahil sa kanyang kagustuhan. Okay? You are saved by grace. Okay? Hindi dahil, kasi kung may basihan ang kagandaan loob ng Diyos sa atin, no? It's not anymore God's grace. No? Hindi na yun kagandaan loob niya, no? Uh, we are saved by grace because kasi yun yung, yun yung kanyang kalooban He is sovereign of all everything okay? sovereign yun okay verse 8 for by grace you have been saved through faith and that not of yourself it is the gift of God so na natin we are saved by grace through faith so we have faith and then faith is the assurance of things hoped for and this kind of hope that does not disappoint us, it's sure and steadfast anchor of our soul. Okay? Not of words, lest anyone should boast. Wala. Wala. Hindi mo pwede i-compare yung iyong uh, uh, pagiging holy or holiness and your faith no? uh, because of your works. Okay? 
kung pinagagawa sa iyo ng Panginoon, iniligay niya sa puso mo ang bagay na uh, paggawa ng mabuti, then just do it. But don't ever compare it to others. Okay? So, it is God who gives you the power to do good works. Because He is the one who gives you that kind of faith because of His grace. Okay? Unless anyone should boast. Wala tayo may pagmamalak. Okay? Hindi po, kipastor ako, umamalak. No! <laughs> no! And anyone. Okay? Walang sino man. Walang sino man. Walang sino man. Being a pastor, being a minister is a privilege that only God gives to us sa ating mga puso. Okay? And once the Lord uh, put that in your heart, no? Be established on it. Then love. Don't try to compare yourself to other uh, workers or other servant. Okay. Nasabi nga ni Jesus, no? Kay Peter, no? Sabi ni Peter, no? Ina, 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 yung calling niya. Nasabi niya, what about him? What about John? Sabi ni Jesus, Anya, is, what is that to you? Okay. You follow me. Okay. So, yun tayo. Mag-establish tayo. Kung ano yung Uh, pinagagawa sa atin ng uh, Panginoong Jesus. Amen? Verse 10. Verse 10. For we are His workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works. Okay? Tayo ay ano, uh, nilikha mag, uh, tayo yung may kalikhaan o workmanship ano, sa Tagalog doon. Uh, created in Christ Jesus for bakit tayo uh, we are now created in Christ Jesus no? not in Adam so we are created in Christ Jesus for good works which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them okay that we should walk in them okay so Ephesians talaga tayo sa verse 12 no? that at that time you were without Christ so dati no? wala, wala tayong uh Kristo tayo mga Gentiles, no? uh, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. Ito tayo dati. Having no hope and without God in the world. Ito, as Gentiles, no? uh, uh, if you believe that you are a Jew, uh, then, uh, which tribe are you? <laughs> But we... Hindi ako pinanganak doon, so I'm not a Jew. I, I don't know it. But I, more important is, I know that I am in Christ. Okay? okay? So, dito, binabanggit mo sa kausap ni Paul is the Gentile Church no, in Ephesus, having no hope and without God in the world. So, ito dati sila. At that time, you were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel. Strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God. Okay? So, ganyan yan tayo dati. Then, what comes next? So, sa Tagalog, no? noong panahon yun, walay kayo kay Kristo, hindi ka binang sa bayang Israel at hindi saklaw ng tipan noon. Noong tipan na nababatay sa mga pangako ng Diyos. Nooy, nabubuhay kayo sa mundo ng walang pag-asa. Bakit? We don't know who God is the time. Walang pag-asa at walang Diyos. Kaya nga ang mga hentil, no? uh, ang daming mga Diyos na mga Diyos-Diyosan na pinaggagawa. Okay? Ano mang mga nasyon yan. So marami. Sa, yan, sobrang dami ng mga Diyos-Diyosan na. Okay? But there's only one God. Okay? The God of Israel. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jesus Christ. God of Father. The Holy Spirit. Eh, nooy, nabubuhay tayo nung walang pag-asa at walang Diyos. Verse 13, But now, ito, ito yung, ito yung naging uh, pag-asa natin, <laughs> naging buhay natin. But now, in Christ Jesus, you, ikaw, you, who once were far off, ikaw na dating malayo, have been brought near by the blood of Christ. Na ilapit tayo because of Christ Jesus. Okay? have been brought near because of the blood of Christ. Now, now, but now in Christ, we are in Christ. 
tayo na dating malayo. Okay? Uh, naririnig natin itong mga Diyos, itong Diyos ng Israel, mga hintin before, no? But they don't know. Hindi nila alam. Until Christ came. Nakarating sa atin. And it was being preached to us through apostles. Apostle Paul. Right here. But now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ. Okay, verse 14. For he himself is our peace. As sino yung kapayapaan mo? Dati wala kang pag-asa. Dati wala kang kapayapaan. Because hindi mo kilala ang Diyos. Hindi mo kilala si Kristo. And now you are in Christ Jesus. He himself is our peace. Sabi niya, ano ba sa John? My peace, I live with you. Okay, he himself is our peace. So, nung ipanatag ka, Jesus Christ is your peace. What he has done for you, what he has given for you, to you, was made both one and has broken down the middle wall of separation. Wala na, wala na din. Neither Jew, nor Greek, nor Gentile. Wala na. Those you who are in Christ. Called. Called by God. Okay? Verse 17. And he came and preached peace to you. Okay, Jesus came. And He preached peace to you who were afar off. Okay? Huwag na kayo ma... ma sa, uh, ano tayo para tayo is, huwag na kayo mabahala. I am here, Jesus Christ, preaching peace to you. Giving you peace. You, kayo, na malaya. Hindi nyo na kailangan magmaba. You are here, brought near by my blood. The blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay? You who are afar off, kayo malapit, so sabi, kayo ng mga hintir, kayo ng mga uh, Jews, mga near, mga, I'm preaching peace to you. Sabi, peace, I live with you. Grace and peace, I live with you. Okay? So sabi ni John Piper, no, Our hope and prayer is that God, in His great mercy, God often does things in a way that makes us depend on Him for the humanly impossible. Why? Bakit? To magnify His sovereign grace and keep us in our humble place. Hindi natin itataas sa ating sanity. Okay? God often does things in a way that makes us depend on Him for the human life as impossible. Why? To magnify His sovereign grace. He, he is. And keep us in a humble place. Tayo, we should always humble us. We cannot say, Lord, I have done this. Yeah, grant my prayer. No. We should always be humble with our sovereign God. Now, sabi no, you, you who are in Christ, no? you have access in the throne of grace. That's why you, you, you humble yourself in the presence of the Lord. And okay, we should humble ourselves. Nawa ang maitaas natin is ang pagkilos pa rin ng Diyos sa buhay ng ating mga kapatiran, sa buhay ng ating mga frontliners, sa buhay ng ating mga doctors, etc. It is God. No? It is God. Itaas natin ang Diyos. Wala iba. His sovereign grace. It is His will. It is His wisdom that provides us to survive this pandemic. It is God. Lamentations, balik tayo, no? Lamentations 3.25. The Lord is good to those who wait for Him. Okay? Sino bang inaantay mo na pumilas? Okay? Hindi kikilas ang Panginoon dahil uh, may reward, no? <laughs> no. He's sovereign. He knows what to do. And he knows what he is doing. And the Lord is good. Sabi niya sa lamentation, sabi niya ulit niya, sumulat ito, not verse 25. The Lord is good to those who wait for him. You, let's wait. To the person who seeks him. Verse 26. It is good that he waits silently for the salvation of the Lord. So, what we should do, no, as, as, we can learn from this lamentation, no, it is good that he waits patiently for the salvation of the Lord. Okay, tayo tayo. Let's wait. Patiently and silently. Patiently and silently. 
pa rin natin. Ha? The Lord is good to those who wait for Him. To those, to the person who seeks Him, it is good that He waits silently for the salvation of the Lord. Amen? Let's wait. Ang sabi sa Tagalog, Tagalog yan, at nasa dito ko na bagay. At mabuti sa isang tao na siya'y matutong magtsaga mula sa kanyang kabataan. Verse 27, Okay, kung siya'y palasapin ng kahirapan, matahimik siyang magtiis at maghintay. Well, let's wait for it. Okay? Actually, the Israel waited for how many years? Okay? For 100 years until the Lord Jesus Christ. For the Messiah. Okay? And how many years they've been captive? to Babylon. They waited tayo. Ilang buwan pa lang para hindi na tayo makapaghintay. Doon ang gusto natin gawin. Well, we, we always oppose uh, those who have given the authority to lead us in this country. Okay? Matahimik siyang magtiis at maghintay. Yes, I know what we have been through in this uh, months ago okay but continue to hope in the Lord as a church family dapat natin iparating sa bawat isa ang ating mga hindi at pangailangan okay. huwag na tayo huwag tayo magmalaki na parang uh, kayaanin ko to if you need someone to talk to then Call or message. Yeah. There's an importance of being a root, of being established, and uh, being placed in a church family. Okay. Having having a um, word to be heard. Having a leader or a pastor that you can talk to, you can reach out to. You know. Or, or, or Latin, we should humble uh, having a God that uh, you can pray, pray for. So we should humble ourselves. Kung siya'y pala sa pinang kahirapan, matahimik siya magtiis at maghintay. Verse 29, siya'y magpakumbaba sa harapan ni Yahweh at huwag mawala na pag-asa. Tandaan natin, no? Lamentations 3.29 Siya ay magpakumbaba sa harapan niya. Okay? Sa harapan niya. Hindi, uh, malaki ka, uh, we can do this, we can do this. No, only God can save people. Only Jesus can save people. Okay? Siya ay magpakumbaba sa harapan niya. At huwag mang wala ng hope. Tanggapin ang lahat ng panalakit at paghamak sa kanyang naranasin. Verse 31, mahabagin si Yahweh at hindi niya tayo itatakwil habang panahon. Yan sinasabi niya dyan. Okay? Hindi niya tayo itatakwil habang panahon. Bagaman, siya'y nagpaparusa, hindi naman nawawala ang kanyang pag-ibig. Kaya nga, laging bumabalik dun sa isip nitong sumulat ng lamentation, no? I believe it is uh, Jeremiah uh, na bumabalik yung kanyang pag-asa sa tuwing maalala niya yung uh, loving kindness never ceases His compassion, His mercy never comes to an end What we need to do is to humble ourselves to God We have Christ. We have faith. We have hope. And the peace is already given in our hearts. Don't let the enemy you know, uh, uh, take your mind away from it. Alalahanin natin. Alalahanin natin. Ano ba ang sinabi ng Panginoon? Ano ba yung ibinigay niya sa atin? Okay. 
Let, and let's wait. Let's continue to hope. Okay? Verse 33, Hindi niya ikatutuwang tayo saktan o pahirapan. Yes. Hindi nalilingit kay Yahweh kung nagihirap ang ating kalooban. Alam niya yan, he is sovereign, he is all-knowing. Tayo lang minsan talaga yung ano, eh, nakakalimot because our eyes is fixed on the things of this world. Okay? Fix natin doon. Itanda natin ng verse 35. Maging ang ating, maging ang ating kahirapa, karapatan, kung tayo'y pagkaitan. Verse 36. Kung ang katarungan ay hayagang tinutuya, siguradong si Yahweh hindi, yes, magpapabayan. Hindi yung pwedeng, oh, nagulat ako, nagulat si Lord na, ay, ganun ba? May, may nakawala tong corona to, ha? Actually, hindi. Hindi siya naging pabaya sa atin. Okay, establish your faith, your hope in Christ alone. Okay? Verse 37, Walang anumang bagay na mangyayari ng hindi kapahintulutan ni Yahweh. Okay? Hindi yan parang, ah, naka, nakalusot si Satan. Si hindi. Okay? Walang anumang bagay na mangyayari ng hindi kapahintulutan ni Yahweh. But we know, no? Whether we live or die, we are in Christ. Okay? Establish your faith in Christ alone. You are saved by grace through faith. Okay. At patuli tayo, uh, let's wait patiently okay, for the salvation. Alright? But we are saved in Christ. Huh? Verse 38. Nasa kapangyarihan ng kataas-taasang Diyos ang masama at mabuti. Bakit tayo magre-reklamo kung tayo'y pinaparusahan? Kung dahil naman ito sa ating mga kasalanan. Kaya siya kung may kasalanan nito, tao. <laughs> okay. Verse 40. Siya sa atin na titsuriin ang ating pamumuhay at tayo manumbali kay Yahweh. Okay, kung you have been uh, uh, nawala ka, so you have been too focused on things of this world, on your uh, work on your everything na ano, nalayo ka nalayo yung iyong pag-iisip yung, yung pananampalataya yung hindi, hindi na na, na, is na hindi na na palago hindi na na alagaan no? siya sa atin hindi tayo yung manumbalik kaya may kagaya ng ginaw na uh, let's remember alalahanin natin yung mga promises ng Lord no? and it would be an anchor for the soul Awesome. Right? It is good to wait quietly for deliverance from the Lord. Amen? It is good to wait quietly for deliverance from Now, uh, bakit, no? uh, bak- bakit ko siya na-share ito? No? Uh, because we can learn from this you know, na um, experience nila uh, sumulat ng lamentation. No? Ano, uh, Tignan natin, no? ano pa ba ano yung pinagdaanan nila na? Ano yun sa pinagdadaanan natin ngayon? At ano yung meron sila ngayon? At meron tayo ngayon? We are more blessed because we have Christ. We have Christ. We have Christ Jesus. So it is good to wait quietly for deliverance from our Lord. Okay? Let's wait quietly. Alright, sabi niya sa Romans 15, for, this is why, for everything that was written in former times, sa so mga raan, uh, former times was written for our instruction, so that through endurance and through encouragement, para ma-encourage tayo, ay, yung pala yung pinagdaanan nila. So right now, no, uh, the Lord is maybe the Lord is um, establishing something in your heart, in your mind, no, na uh, tuon, na ituon ulit ang ating pananapalatang puso't isipan 
um, sa, sa ginawa ni Kristo para sa atin. Okay? The true endurance and true encouragement of the scriptures ay hindi pala nakikita. Uh, for everything that was Romans 15.4 uh, New English Translation For everything that was written in former times was written for our instruction so the true endurance and true encouragement of the scripture we may have Maybe yung pag-asa mo ngayon, eh, bumababa na dahil nabalitaan mo naman na extended na naman ang kaka-ECQ. <laughs> uh, Inip-nilip ka lang gawin mga bagay na ginagawa mo dito. Baka mo may pinagagawa sa iba si Lord naman. To maybe uh, grow in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ with the scriptures. No? Talk to your families inside the house. Clean your house. Tanggalin mo yung mga bagay na hindi naman nakakatulong dyan. Okay? Tanggalin mo yung mga bagay dyan na nagpapasikit lang na wala naman. Okay? Mga bagay dito sa mundo. Mas mahalaga ay yung mga ibinibigay sa'yo ng Panginoong Diyos. For everything that was written in former times was written for our instruction so that through endurance and through encouragement of the scripture we may have hope. Okay? Kung ang iyong pag-asa, ang iyong pananampalataya o ang uh, iyong kapayapaan is being uh, drag uh, na, na si Sway, um, yun, go back to the scripture, go back to the gospel, read about the Lord Jesus Christ, how the apostles describe Him, how the apostles um, um, share it to us. Doon, doon tayo bumalik. Let's go back on that. Okay? Then... Verse 12, and again Isaiah says, okay, so Romans 15, verse 12, and again Isaiah says, The root of Jesse will come, and the one who rises to rule over the Gentiles, in him will the Gentiles hope. Tayo. In him, in the Lord Jesus Christ. The root of Jesse will come, and the one who rises to rule, dito sa Isaiah to, no? to rule over the Gentiles, in him the Gentiles hope. Tayo ay umasa. Dahil sa Panginoong Jesus. Verse 13, Now may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace. Our God of hope. <laughs> that is Christ Jesus. No? Now may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you believe in Him so that you may abound in what? In hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Siguro naman pulo-pulo ka ng pag-asa ngayon. Take this verse. Now may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you believe in Him, so that you may abound in hope. Doon ka. May abound. Doon ka. Uh, yun yung nakakasakop sa'yo. Pag-asa. Punong-puno ka ng pag-asa by the power of the Holy Spirit. Verse 13. Sa Tagalog, masaya natin. Puspusinawa kayo ng Diyos na siyang bukal ng pag-asa at nawa ay pagkalooban niya kayo ng kagalakan at kapayapaan sa pamamagitan ng inyong pananampalataya upang mag-umapaw ang inyong pag-asa sa pamamagitan ng kapangyarihan ng Espiritu Santo. Okay? That's it. May the God fulfill you with all joy and peace in believing so that by the power of the Holy Spirit you may abound in Romans 15, 13. Okay. 1 Corinthians 16, 22. If anyone does not love the Lord Jesus Christ, let him be accursed. O Lord, come. Okay. Verse 23. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you, my love, be with you all in Christ. I mean, Paul, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. My love, sorry, be me as your uh, leader, as your pastor, as your apostle. My love be with you all in Christ Jesus. Okay? The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen.
Acts 4.12, Lord Jesus is the only one who can save people. No one else in the world is able to save us. Okay. Tandaan natin palagi, Romans 8.38-39, For I am convinced neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, okay, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing will be able to separate us from the love of God, okay, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Okay? Nor any other created thing, neither death nor life, buhay or patay, the love of God has been poured out upon on us and none will be able to separate us from it which is in Christ Jesus our Lord Amen okay Amen great so uh, hope you've been blessed with that message no? so why pulong-pulo ka ngayon ng pag-asa because you are anchored okay your hope is anchored in Christ Jesus, so it is in the solid rock, our chief cornerstone, no? is in the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay? Nawa kayong lahat ngayon ay puno ng pag-asa. Um, uh, patuloy po tayong, uh, let's humble ourselves uh, before God. Okay? Patuloy po tayo. Let's seek to it, no? Uh, it's time to really establish our life, our lives, in the in the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? So, <clears throat> dahil po tayo sa ating benediction. Hope you've been blessed. No? And really, um, really miss you na kayong lahat, no? Uh, naway magkasama-sama tayo muli. So, patuloy nyo po may bigyan ng update ng anong nangyayari sa inyo, no? Uh, message nyo lang po uh, ako or sa JBCI account natin, no? Or even your lead, sa leaders or care group leaders, na malapit sa inyo no or kahit na uh, been taking care of you so let all know as as one uh, family no we really need to let our leaders know what ano yung nangyayari sa atin okay so tayo po ay yumuko and um, allow me to share uh, to speak to you this number 624 the lord bless you and keep you protect you sustain you and guard you the Lord makes His face shine upon you with favor and be gracious to you, surrounding you with His loving kindness. The Lord lift up His countenance upon you with divine approval and gives you peace, a tranquil heart, and life. Be strong. Just be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus, your Lord and Savior. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. So God bless you, church. So, um, hope you've been uh, safe. And yes, in sinabi ko kanina, so let us know what uh, ano nangyari sa inyo, kamusta na kayo. No? And um, we really need, we really miss you. So, until further announcement, hopefully nga, uh, uh, our hope is in Christ, yes. Pero yun, we we'll continue to pray na matapos din itong pandemic at itong ating ECQ at nawa ang lahat ay maging uh, magkaroon ngayon na mga natin na, na, na titira pa ngayon na nandyan sa mga hospital is talagang uh, makarecover. Okay? So, let's share the hope that we have in Christ Jesus. God bless you.